So I grew up watching Star Wars, uh, the original three-part series, and I can still remember the first time I saw that big slimy guy, Jabba the Hutt. I still remember the first time I saw the beautiful Carrie Fisher as well. Star Wars was a huge part of my childhood, and the work that was put in by George Lucas and those three as well as the, the rest of the series uh, was just phenomenal. And so and it, it was important to me to try to capture uh, some of that with the final movie of the series. What I did was try to t infuse different sounds and different uh, musical scores from throughout the series. You'll hear lasers and gunships and just all these different sounds, as well as some of the more popular, well-known melodies. It took countless hours to put all the pieces of the puzzle together with all the different sound effects that were pitch shifted and reworked and crunched and saturated and all these different elements that we can add to it to make it blend into the song correctly. To figure out which ones I wanted to put into the song was a huge challenge because a lot of those sounds were absolutely epic, like this one blowing to pieces and you hear this epic boom. That was one of those sounds that I wanted to make sure I put in there, but the question was how to put it in there and at what stage to put it in there to make it most dramatic in the song itself. And so at the same time that this new movie is coming out, Marcus Schultz has just released a remix of, of a beautiful rendition of Ave Maria. And so between that beautiful piece of art as well as the Star Wars, uh, what I would consider just a, a, a work of art in and of itself, and put them together uh, was, was a, a, something I, I wanted to attempt. And merging Star Wars along with Marcus Schultz's track, along with my own production, um, it was a work of the heart. And so here's my remix slash production slash rework of what I like to call Ave Stellas, Star Wars Tribute. 